Hi, I'm Paul Hutchinson and welcome back to the 17th episode on Pistol Shooting. What we're going to do this week is we're going to look at uh, shooting from behind a barricade. How we do that. What we're going to look at is we're going to consider the tactical advantage and disadvantages to the way in which we do this. Okay. But what we've also got to do is consider that we do this obviously very accurately uh, and in the fastest way possible. Because if we're shooting from behind a barricade, it means that we're behind there for a reason. So, let's go and have a look at that. So, barricade, yeah, I need you to use your imagination with this one. All right, let's have a look at it. So, what do people do? Well, normally where it all goes wrong is this. When people shoot from behind a barricade, you get the legs out on view, they'll get the side, they'll be leaning over, they'll even be resting on the barricade. And, and when they have to bring the weapon in, if they, they are taking some cover, they've got to bring it in and come back around. What we want to do is we want to get away from that. We need to get your optimum distance of the ball. So you need to be behind the barricade, your legs aren't on view or anything. Okay. What what we mean by the optimum distance is there I'm too close, I can't lean in. I have to shuffle out a bit. I can now lean into the weapon, I've got this, uh, the aggression behind the weapon. All I'm then doing is transfer my weight from my right side foot across, lean out, clear the position, take my shot and back in again. Let's have a look at that from another angle. So, shooting from behind the barricade, the three things that we need to make sure that we've got. One, we are behind the barricade completely, okay? Two, when we do come out, we've got enough uh, muzzle clearance. Three, we've got that sight picture that we need to be able to do. As long as we do that, happy days. I'm Paul Hutchinson, thanks for watching, hopefully we'll see you next week.